Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I was playing with Affinity Photo 2 and decided to do something with a lot of color, and it's not very hard to do. I did this in both desktop and iPad, so if you want to see the iPad version, uh, here's what it looks like, and in the desktop version, this is what we'll be working on now. So let's get started. So I pulled in this girl from Stock Photos. I just typed in sitting and she came up. You can use anything you want, but this is the one I got. Let me pull out a little. And you can see she's a little bit bigger than my, my screen. So I just, I'm going to just cut off this little piece. So it's an image. So I'm going to duplicate it just so we have the original. Control Command J. And I'm going to right click and say rasterize and trim. So what I need, to, I'm going to hide the one below. Now what I need to do is pull this girl out. And it, she doesn't have to be exact for this because we're going to throw color on top of her. So I need to separate her from the white background. So I am going to use my flood selection tool. I'll keep tolerance at 5% because of the white. And I'm just going to click on it and make sure that up here it says not new. Up here we're going to add because we want to add in here in here and I believe in here and that's close enough for what I need so since I selected the outside we really need her in the selection so what I'll do is up on top I'll go select invert pixel selection so now she's selected and I'm going to refine and I'm not even going to do much I'm just going to take a paintbrush right here which where her hair is and maybe try and get some of that hair in out here like that let's see and a little bit maybe here and again I, I'm not going to spend a lot of time I don't it doesn't need to be perfect for what I'm doing right here but I think that's close enough for what we need so I am on the bottom I'm going to go select new layer with mask and apply so now I have just her on with a mask and the background is actually transparent. If you're not sure about that, go up to the document and do transparent background because it's a white background now. And you'll see. And it's not a perfect selection, but it's good enough for this tutorial. So I like it. I think it's good enough. So I'm going to right click and say rasterize and trim. So now there she is by herself. None of the others are showing. So I am going to shrink her down a little bit, maybe like that. And up here where it says enable transform origin click on that and instead of the transfer origin being in the middle when we rotate we want it to be right here at the bottom corner so now if i rotate you'll see that she goes up that way from the bottom corner and i'm going to start maybe about there and from that point i'm going to do control or command j and i'm going to bring it down just below her eye the back of her ear on the one here and her eye is showing be behind her and now i'm going to do control command j and it should do the rest themselves so now i have four of them and with the four of them if i select them all i'm going to kind of bring this up a little bit like this and wherever i feel it's, it's nothing important to use it whatever you want to use to your eye so i'm going to go just about there i think that looks pretty good and we're good so now let's take the first one down here. I select it. I'm going to go to Effects, and I'm going to do a Color Overlay. And in the Color Overlay, I want the Blend Mode to be Color. And I want the Color, let's pick one of these. I'm going to start off with this turquoise right here, I think. And we'll leave it at that. And now if we go to the next one, I want Color Overlay again. I want it to say Color again. And I'll go to the next point. We're going to try and do four points. So say one, one, two, three, four, maybe. So let's go to maybe something in that in that family. I think that looks pretty good. And then we'll pick the next one, and we'll go again normal to color to color. And then uh, we we did the lavender. I'm sorry, we did the purplish. So now we'll go to maybe. Let's do yellow, maybe a yellow like that, an orangey yellow like that. I like that. And then the last one, we're going to, once again, switch it to color, and then we'll pick a color, and I think I'll do the green. Uh, so we got to bring this to green, 
in that family. I think that looks good like that. Okay, so now that we have that, I am going to group them. One, one, two, I'm going to select one, hold shift, and pick the top one, and do control or command G, and now they're grouped. And now I'm going to duplicate that group, which is control or command J, and I am going to take that group and flip it, arrange, flip horizontally, and then I'm going to try and get it somewhere around, I mean, I can change, let me go further out, I can change the size of it now. I just want some of the colors to be where the other colors are, so let me just try and get some more rotation. I'm thinking probably <clears throat> in this, this area, and I might change that afterwards, so we'll play around and try it, and I'll leave it at that. And I want that to be below this, these people. So now that's going to be a background. So what I'm going to do is go to Live Filters. Mm, should I do Radial Blur? Let's try Radial Blur. I'm not sure if that'll work. Yeah, I think Radial Blur might work. Let's try that. It's a little bit too much. Let's see if we preserve. No. Uh, let's see if I increase the size of it. I spread this out more like that and I think that's gonna work that looks pretty good I can even stretch it a little if I need to something like that let's get a close-up so I do I like that so kind of the colors are following not perfect but it doesn't have to be so that's one way to do it now I'm not sure if this is going to work but I'm going to try it I think maybe I would like on the original ones a little bit of opacity going from one to the other so I'm thinking maybe 80 percent I'm not sure if it'll work but I'm gonna keep trying so I'm gonna go down the line and do 80 percent and see if we like that better or not so you can judge you can decide not to do the 80 percent if you want but I kinda like that they blend a little into each other and I don't even know if the 80% is enough. And it also blends into the background. You see the little overlays here? I kind of like that. And now let's, let's give a little bit, maybe the background, I might want a little stronger so I can go to adjustments, let's say curves, and maybe give it a little bit more of a, let's see. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go with it. I think a little bit of an S curve and bring this down. I kind of like that. And then the last thing I guess I could do um, some text. Let's try some text. Let's say my colorful world. And that's not a bad size. Let's see how that works. And then maybe we'll do a blending of it. Let's see where, which blend mode would work. So let's see. I'm going to go with maybe, I'm going to go with linear light. And then I'll go to effects and maybe a um, 3D. Well, no, better yet, bevel and emboss. Let's do an outer bevel like that, which I kind of like and maybe an outline. Let's see if we could do an outline. A little bit of an outline, but I want to turn down the opacity a little bit. And I'm not sure I even like the color. Maybe the green is the wrong way to go, so maybe that's what I don't like. So let's pick a different color for the text. With the text selected, go up here. Maybe we'll pick um, maybe one of these pinks. I don't know. That's a little bit too Maybe something like that. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. It's a little bit of purplish and blue in there mixed in. And that's it. So I hope you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.